Hey guys, it's me, Steve WB, and welcome back to my channel. And today is the day that I've been waiting well over a week for. And what it is, is the range test of the Super Ride S1000. Now, I must confess, I did try this out yesterday and uh, did not go so well. I tried to charge both batteries with the external battery connected to the bike off the bike charger. It did not charge both batteries and therefore I only got about eight miles. And to top it all off, uh, I don't know, probably two weeks ago, I wrecked and jammed my wrist up pretty good in my thumb. And what that has to do with this story is after uh, I was ending my range test, the battery was getting low and I was crossing the main highway at a crosswalk, you know, with the little light on as I'm supposed to. And guess what happens? There's all these cars sitting there at the red light. I give it a good lean to go and the motor cuts out. Did like a total wipeout right in front of a whole bunch of cars. Rejammed my wrist up. I was dying. I thought I broke it, but it's fine today. So no big deal. But it, I guess just because it was stiff from being hurt before, it just like really, really hurt. But I'm also an old man. With that being said, I've already started this range test this morning. It, the light wasn't so good. It's a super cloudy day. We had a front come through, so it's been rainy and just nasty. So I waited until I'd already started to make the intro. On the bike for about an hour, and I've already gone about five and a half miles, and the battery is still at least three quarters. So we got a lot of riding to do still. So let's get back to it. Okay, so today I'm riding on a trail called Caddyway Trail. It just goes through like uh, close to Orlando where I live in Winter Park area. And it's just this extensive trail. It just weaves kind of through the city and through the county for walkers and bikers and joggers and all that stuff. It's, it's really cool. I don't regret crossing this bridge because the battery is getting low and I'm on my way home and uh, I might end up pushing this thing part of the way but I've never been on this bridge and I had to check it out. Okay, so let's do a quick story time of my two wrecks on the Super Ride S1000. The first wreck was whenever I was new to riding it and I finally decided, you know, I'm going to go ahead and venture outside of the neighborhood for the first time and I get out on the main, on the sidewalk of the main road and they had a tree that was uh, lifting up the sidewalk and it was a bunch of like roots and stuff just sticking up. and. Uh, I was standing on it when I hit it, and it started wobbling. I tried to slow down, but before I knew it, I was flying over the handlebars. 
Landed on my hands, did a nice little tuck and roll, jumped up, thought I was fine. Next day, my thumb turned purple. Everything was uh, jammed up and sore. And when you're old like me, you know what I'm talking about. You younger guys, when you fall, you can just jump up and you're good the next day. But the older you get, the less that happens. The second wreck. The second wreck was just yesterday and I was trying to do my range test and I didn't, like I had stated previously, I didn't charge the battery correctly and I don't want to freak this lady out. But the second wreck, I didn't properly charge the battery and what ended up happening was I was doing my range test and when I was coming back, I had to cross the main road, which was a four lane with a stop light and they had the crosswalk. So I was nice. I sat there and I waited for the crosswalk and I'm sitting there on this little one wheel bike and I finally get the okay to go. And so what do I do? I lean into it and I start crossing while well, the battery was getting quite low at that point and uh, just cut out on me. I flew forward, when I flew forward, the bike tried to compensate, threw me back, and when I threw back, I overcorrected, went flying off the front again in front of like 30 people in their cars, people rolling down their windows, are you okay? And I'm jumping up like, ah, oh, no big deal. Laughed it off. I didn't feel anything at that point, but when I got to the side of the road, my wrist was hurting so bad, like I just re-aggravated the same in injury and it was like throbbing bad. But I'm happy to say that today it's much, much better. Uh, it feels like it was before I hit it the second time. So these things definitely have a learning curve and you have to stay on alert. There's an element of danger always, but it can be relaxing and fun when riding in the correct place and riding in the correct way. But, you know, once in a while you gotta push it. Anyway, let's get back to the ride. I am off the nice smooth trail. Battery level is very, very low. I'm probably gonna end up pushing at some point, but I'm just gonna try to take it easy and limp back. You can see there's a lot of cars, a lot of traffic. So I'm gonna have to put the camera down until I get off of this road. Right there, that's the scene of the crime coming across that crosswalk in front of probably at least that many people that I just completely biffed it right in the middle for everybody to enjoy. Quite embarrassing, especially when you're old like me. Okay, so this is the location of wreck number one. You can see how the trees are and how bumpy and uneven the sidewalk is. Not very good for a novice. But this is the entrance to my neighborhood up here, so I'm not gonna be pushing this thing back. But what I'm gonna do is, because I'm still showing one bar, I'm just gonna ride around the block until this thing dies to get as much range as I can out of these two batteries. I don't think it's doubled the range from what I had before, but I can say it's definitely improved. Okay, so I'm back in the neighborhood, and as you can see, the battery indicator is blinking all the way down to zero. So I'm really taking it easy just to get back home so I don't have to walk. It's been at least a two hour journey, but what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna cut and take a look at the stats and see how, how well we did, how far we went. How did the second battery pack help? If you remember the first trip with the stock battery, we only got seven and a half miles. So let's check it out. Okay, so as you can see, this is where we started. I'll give you a full view. That's how far we went as far as on the map. And let's look at the stats. You can see we went 14 miles, took an hour and 50 minutes. The first trip was an hour and 10 minutes and we only went 7.4 miles. So effectively, we did double the range. 
because I could take it a little bit further to get that extra mile in if I wanted. But at this point, I'm tired of standing and riding on this thing. And we are about to pack up and go to Epcot to record another Bennett's World, which is our family channel video. Not too bad, not too bad. We made a lot of distance. We made decent time. And it was a fun, pleasurable ride. That, tried, that trail was so nice. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I'm Steve WB, and I'm out.